morning guys welcome back and welcome to the weekend um today in this video i'm just showing you guys an example of like one of me and jared's sunday meal preps i keep talking about this like we've been doing it like forever and we've only done it twice so anyway while i was editing it i realized that i hadn't really explained like anything and so i made sure to put in the description box like all of the cooking times and seasonings and how to reheat it and kind of all of those um, basic questions but i just wanted to say beforehand that just what we're making is basically side dishes sweet potatoes and vegetables we made rice and like a vegetable medley to heat up for fried rice and then i made a couple of things for lila so i just kind of wanted to put that in here as an intro to explain because i did not do a very good job of doing that in the actual video so Check out the description box and if you do like videos like this, I know I get a lot of questions on Instagram about different meals and stuff that I post. So if you do like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know and comment below any questions you have if I didn't touch on it. All right guys, thanks and we'll just go ahead and get started. So first I'm just gonna get out everything that I need Jared to chop because he's the chopper. One potato, sweet potato too. Please don't cut my finger. Sweet potato three. And then I'll grab you the carrots. I'm just gonna oil them and salt them because last time I put a bunch of seasonings on everything and like I honestly ended up seasoning it again after I warmed it up, so. starches and things that take forever to cook on the top rack of the oven because that's where it's the hottest. Siri, set a timer for 30 minutes. At the 20 minute mark, we're gonna put in the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts together. Jared already chopped up the onions and he's dicing up a pepper right now. So we'll cut up these next. While Jared was preparing everything there, I just went ahead and mixed up Lila's eggs for her egg bakes that she likes. Four eggs, dash of milk, and pepper in here. And then I'm gonna add them to this little like brownie, I don't know, brownie muffin pan square thing. And I usually put like different vegetables in there. So like onions or peppers or broccoli. tomatoes, one will have broccoli, one will have onions, and one will have peppers. And then Jared's just gonna oil and salt the Brussels sprouts and broccoli in this pan to the oven along with our sweet potatoes and carrots. All of the sides are in, broccoli's in, Brussels sprouts, carrots, and then the sweet potatoes are in also. And in 20 minutes, they'll all be done at once. Took us a while. Cheers. <laughs> um, oh, we should start rice in the rice cooker. We're gonna start rice in the rice cooker and then saute onions, peppers, and frozen peas and carrots together and for kind of like a fried rice. Hey! <laughs> oh, you have rice pro tips? Yeah. What are they? Pro tip one, always wash your rice. Okay. So before you make the rice, put water in it and then do this. And swirl it and then pour the water off. You just wait, the rice will settle and then you can pour the water off. And then put about a teaspoon of oil in and, 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 and swirl it again to break up the oil throughout the water evenly and it'll make the rice a lot better and not clumpy or gross. Nice. Slightly frozen. Jared just thawed those in with water and heat, but he wants to cook these first. Thawed with heat. Thawed with heat. Much easier with you than by myself. Last week when I meal prepped, it literally took me three hours, but I did make Jared a bunch of burritos in. That was time consuming. 
cook some eggs and put stuff in tortillas. And I wrapped them like freaking Chipotle. This is gonna be a large portion of food. You're so good at that. Look at the technique. It's the flick of the wrist. Delicious. Okay, everything's done. And we're just gonna take it out of the oven. Ow! This always burns my face. I'm embarrassed. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. And now I'm gonna grab the carrots. Carrots. Chana, chana, chana. Oh my god, that's really hot on my hands. They look awful. They look really delicious. But we're gonna give them a few more minutes just because there's no room on my oven to put them in, so. In the stove? Stove top. Drop, Drop top. top. <laughs> okay, so this is actually Jared's idea. But this is kind of like a, a trial. We're gonna try and make Kodiak pancakes in here for Lila. If it works, you can use it for real people too. Adults. <laughs> That's what I meant. Half a cup of this. Half a cup of water. Tap water to be exact. Our baby's crying. And we're bad guys. And then to shake it, shake it up. You want to grease the pan. Right from the spout. I will. You gonna put like chocolate chips in it or anything? I'm gonna put blueberries in them. I wish the camera would pick up all the powder she's spilling all over herself. All the what? Powder you're spilling all over yourself. Oh god, it's sticking to the bottom. Water should have probably gone in first. That's why I make protein shakes with the water first. Yes. What do you guys do? Protein shakes, water first, or protein. powder first? Let me get the bloobs. Alright, so we're gonna grease the thingies. Okay, so these are for Lila, but I honestly might make myself some of these next time. These look really, really good. And the Kodiak pancakes in here. Let's do a little test. Oh yeah, these came out awesome. Okay guys, so I have the final product here. Lila's egg bakes, Lila's little pancakes. These turned out perfect. I couldn't have imagined them coming out any better, so. Definitely give that Kodiak little muffin tray thing a try. Um, sweet potatoes, broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And I'll just put soy sauce on this when I eat it, just in case. Sometimes I'm like not really craving that soy sauce thing, but I still wanna be able to eat the rice and vegetables. And there are the carrots again, like I said. These three all just need two or three minutes in the air fryer to warm up and crispen back up. Um, I will probably just be microwaving these and microwaving this, but yeah. Between me and Jared working together today, this took an hour, uh, maybe a little bit over an hour, an hour and 15. Um, if it was just me by myself, it probably would have taken double that time if I'm being completely honest. So it was really nice having him home to be able to help me today, but yeah. And I don't want you to think this just has to be for babies too. Like these are so bomb. And if you add like a little more seasoning to them, you could totally eat like a couple of these for breakfast with like some toast and a healthy fat. Um, I just make them for Lila because I can easily cut them and make them kind of like finger foods. She will eat all of this too. Um, I just like to make little special like protein things for her because she tends to eat the same protein dishes every day. And it wouldn't be meal prepping without <laughs> pizza <laughs> and beer. Sign off, Jared. Bye.